Alright, so I am going to use the data from that uh, example, I think it was 4.03, um, and uh, use the uh, confidence, Desmos confidence interval maker, and also the, the template, uh, but I'll, I'll just do the confidence interval in one video and the, the p-value template in the other. So, um, uh, if I want those, um, I can go here, and here is a two-sided test. Here's the confidence interval. So I'm going to do the confidence interval first. Uh, click on that. And so I need to put in the data. Uh, I need to uh, put in my choice of confidence level, like 0.95, which is probably what I want. And then it will, I think, calculate the rest. And... Uh, uh, so I have to go get my data. Now I'm just going to pull up this that I had before uh, from that example. And uh, I've highlighted the data. It's actually in there as formulas, uh, but if I just highlight it and do a control C, uh, it will actually just work with the numbers. Um, and so I go here uh, and just click in there and do a control V. And see there it pasted them as a uh, is a list of 10 elements and then it's doing all kinds of weird stuff over here I haven't given it the 0 0.95 level yet okay so I do that and there's my confidence interval and I may have to the you know you'll probably have to scroll to whatever the the mean is but see here the mean is uh, 5.8 so you know I that would tell me where to try to scroll to um, and pan and zoom, I guess, is really the better word than scroll. Uh, but, yeah, uh, so there's my confidence interval, and it gives me my left-hand limit and my right-hand limit. So all I have to do is give it the data, and now I could type this these same data in uh, using the square bracket and separating them by comma. So I could type it in as well. Um, you know, so if if I came in here and that was just empty um, you know I could do a, a square bracket and then you know eight and eight and I don't remember what the other ones were but you know I could do a ten uh, a three you know a six and there what I have five data items and I, I close off the square bracket uh, 95 percent confidence level and there's that one okay I have to zoom out a little bit and uh, notice, you know, it's interesting with this confidence level. I know I was only doing numbers between uh, 0 and 10, if you want to think of it that way, but if those had been my numbers, it would have, the confidence interval would have actually gone past 10. So, you know, uh, uh, it's, you know, your confidence interval may extend beyond uh, what reasonable values uh, you could have. So, um, and, you know, I can change my confidence level here. So instead of a 95% confidence level, uh, I could see that, right, if I want to be less confident, um, I will get a smaller interval. So 0.9, it made a little smaller. You see now I'm in below 10. Um, actually, you could see all this better if I went to projector mode, I guess. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, so going to a 95, you know, from a, nine, a 90 to a 95, well, you know, the 95, if I want to be more confident, I need to include more possible values and see it gets wider. Uh, if I go down to like an 80%, see it gets much narrower. So the more confident I want to be, the bigger the interval I need. And... Uh, uh, so that is, uh, there's not much to it, uh, using this to get a confidence interval, and I get a nice uh, picture of it when I do it, and um, so we'll call that done for this video.